Diversity is one is the one thing we all have in common. So celebrate it every day. All right. I am reading from my book, Everyday Islam, 365 Days of Living Your Life for Allah. Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah. Uh, we're going to uh, talk about day 23. Diversity is human survival. Reading from Everyday Islam, 365 Days of Living Your Life for Allah. Ha 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 ha. So uh, we on day 23. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And you can get a copy of this book on Amazon.com. Just type Everyday Islam 365 and you'll see all three volumes there. All right. We own the first volume. Um, so follow this journey with us. Diversity is human survival. It is time for parents to teach young people early that diverse that in diversity there is beauty and there is strength. Of course we will have our differences. At least we can help make the world safe for diversity and pluralism. Allah says in the Quran in Surah 49:13 that's 49 13. This is a very popular surah. It says that he made us into different nations and tribes so that we may know one another and that the most honorable in the sight of Allah are the most righteous. So there's differences. It's not just a social construct. There are differences. Some cultures are more prone to certain diseases, eat different foods, got different histories, have different colors. Those are signs from Allah. But Allah says the most honorable in the sight of Allah are the most righteous. At the bottom, every man or woman knows well enough that they are a unique being. That there is no one like you. And you are only once on this earth. And by no extraordinary chance will such a marvelous, picturistic piece of diversity and unity you are ever be put together a second time. Nobody won't allow won't put together someone like you again. Therefore, if mankind is to survive, we will have to learn to take delight in the essential differences between men and women and between ethnicities and cultures. We will hopefully learn that difference in ideas and attitudes can be a delight. Part of a life's exciting variety and not something to fear. Don't fear the different. Don't fear the difference. Embrace the differences that we have in our cultures. And it's not something to fear. For Allah loves diversity. I say that again. Allah loves diversity. And we should love what Allah, God, loves. I say that in all due respect. Assalamu alaikum.